Welcome back guys. This is question 5.29 and the statement of this question is a home owner plants six bulbs selected at random from a box containing five tulip bulbs and four daffodil bulbs. Okay. So basically the total number of bulbs here are five plus four equal to nine. So uh, what is the probability that he planted two daffodil bulbs and four tulip bulbs okay so from these nine he has selected six bulbs okay so he wanted to know that what is the probability that he planted two daffodil bulbs okay so out of them two are daffodil bulbs and four are tulip bulbs so now you can see here that these are basically the total number of bulbs from it he has selected six bulbs and in those six bulbs, what is the probability that four are of some class and two are from the other class okay so this is what this is another case which is called basically the hypergeometric probability distribution okay so in hypergeometric probability distribution what we have here already and always we have here the combinations of the total elements and here we have seen that we have basically the total number of elements and and from those and we have selected small n okay so in those small n again we can see that we have two classes first class is let me call here k and from those k i have selected x okay similarly the other n minus k are the other elements and from it i have selected n minus x okay so in all of these cases i can very clearly see that k plus n minus k this is equal to n okay the upper one and in the lower one x plus n minus x this is n okay so this is the hypergeometric distribution and i can very easily write it like x semicolon n comma small n and then the last one here is this k okay so this is what this is the probability distribution which we are going to use here okay so here let us first use or see the elements which we have here so here it is clearly seen that this n is 9 okay also the selected bulbs are 6 so this is the small n okay so these are basically the bulbs which we have the first case are basically the five tulip bulbs okay five tulip bulbs so k is five and x is word from the five tulip bulbs i have to select four one so this is four and also uh, the remaining ones here would be the n minus k so n is nine so nine minus five will be four and n minus x so 6 minus 4 will be 2 so let me write all these values here so this would become what let me choose another color and this is let me use this brown color so here now we will have what this x which i have written here is this 4 okay this 4 is what this is for the four daffodil bulbs from the total number of bulbs which are 9 and from it the total selections are six okay so what are the remaining one we have here k so k is what k is five okay so five are basically the tulip bulbs so uh, let me write them here so writing them here the total number of or let me write them here let me move down somehow okay so it is what the total number of combinations here are this is n choose n so 9 choose 6 okay the other ones are from k i have to select x so 5 choose 4 which are basically 
from five tulip bulbs i have to select four tulip bulbs which are here and the other ones here are what the other ones here are n minus k so n minus k is nine minus five is four okay and these are the four daffodil bulbs and from them i have to select what n minus x so two daffodil bulbs okay so two daffodil bulbs are here so it will be the combination formula and finding out the answer for it what we will get it will be the five factorial divided by four factorial multiplied by one factorial the upper one okay then four factorial divided by the two factorial and four minus two factorial so it is again two factorial divided by this one so nine factorial divided by six factorial nine minus six is three factorial okay so finding the answer of it what we will get the answer of it is five divided by 14 and that is what that is basically the solution of our question okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 5.29 so uh, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon